Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video we are once again diving into TikTok. I don't know about you guys but I am obsessed with TikTok and in the past I did a video where I bought the most popular clothing brands on the app and tested them out in real life and today we are doing something a little bit similar to that but I wanted to put my own little Annalise Wood twist on that and today instead of reviewing multiple clothing brands from TikTok we're just going to review the one brand beginning boutique and we are going to be reviewing items worn by some TikTok stars those stars are Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio and Lauren Gray so I love all of these girls styles however their style is very different to mine so I'm interested to try out these outfits in real life because as you guys know my personal style is very girly glamorous and luck whilst I would describe Addison Rae's style as a casual wear street wear and very chic Charlie D'Amelio, whose last name I hope I'm saying right, I would describe her style as once again very casual, streetwear and comfy. And Lauren Gray's style is the one I probably relate to the most because despite her being edgy, she's also very chic and preppy. So I'm super excited to test out these outfits that are outside of my comfort zone and see if these TikTok stars have found some super amazing items. Also, this video is kindly sponsored by Beginning Boutique. So after I show you guys all these really, hopefully, but really cool TikTok outfits, I do have some very cool items from their New Year's Eve and Christmas collection that you'll be able to shop below. I'm so excited to try these out because I've already opened up the bag because I was super duper excited for these. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first item that I have that Addison Rae wore is this super cute, hopefully, well it looks cute, pink uh, set. So let's open it up. All right, so this is the skirt. It's a super cute pink skirt that is a almost a sarong. I'm pretty sure it is a sarong actually. I don't know why I said almost. It is a sarong. And Addison was seen wearing this in a TikTok video and she was wearing this over the top of a bikini and she looked amazing. So I absolutely love this. I love the print and think it's very beautiful and it would definitely work as a sarong. However, Addison wasn't wearing this but I wanted to give you all the full effect. So I also got the matching top because I'm pretty sure this is meant to be festival wear so it's just like a little triangle or like bikini looking top da, 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 da. why won't it untangle for me one moment please there we go just a cute little festival top and festivals are actually coming back in australia right now thankfully so maybe i'll be wearing this to a festival soon i really hope that putting this on will give me the dance moves that addison ray has however i really don't think it will but it looks to be pretty cute i like the material so let's just go put it on all right this is what the skirt looks like on and unfortunately some of my youtube videos have been getting to monitor lately for being you know unsuitable so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to put this little top on it but trust me it is super cute it fits me really well I just don't want to risk it and get this entire video demonetized so trust and believe it's super cute and I'll probably put a pick up on my Instagram so be sure to check it out there if you're interested but it's super cute and this skirt is gorge as well so I've just paired it with you know my favorite little bikini and this would be such a gorge little cover-up I love the colors I think it's so pink and girly and fun and it could also double as a festival outfit as well you just have to wear something underneath it obviously because it is a sarong so just be sure to wear something underneath but I love it so much can see why Addison loves it as well The next outfit worn by Addison Rae is a cute black dress that I am so clearly very excited for by that voice because it's summer in Australia and I don't really have any like casual dresses. So I'm really hoping that this will be one I'm going to love because Addison looks really good in it. And this is what the dress looks like. So it is a halter neck tie up with a cute little keyhole uh, cut out on the front here and is completely backless. So it's this black like crocheted material and I love this. This again would actually be really good as a beach cover-up and I don't believe that's what Addison Rae was wearing it for but the TikTok that I saw her wearing this in was with Kourtney Kardashian so if this is good enough to wear around Kourtney it is good enough for me but the quality seems to be really good on it and I just am so excited to have a like plain black comfortable dress to just wear out and about just for casual days when I don't really feel like dressing up I think that this would be perfect Thick. So I'm really loving Addison Rae's style so far. So let's go try this on. This is what Addison Rae's dress looks like on it. So this is the front and this is the back. And the first thing I'm noticing is that I'm guessing Addison has a bit bigger of a chest than me because I'm definitely popping out the sides here. So if you are getting this dress and you're smaller chested, just make sure to get some fashion tape. And that way you can like just stick it down here to make sure that you have the not right amount of side boobs showing without like your whole boob falling out because <laughs> that could definitely be an issue. But 
but apart from that i love this dress i think it is so very beautiful and i know i said it was more of like a casual day dress yeah now i've got it on definitely not i could see myself wearing this out i think it's so cute and i just feel so good in this dress i love the whole like backless vibe i think it's beautiful and if you want it to be extra well, extra, then you can get some back jewelry as well. You know how you can get those like things that just go on your back here? That would look so beautiful. So I love this dress. It's very simple, yet it still looks really, really beautiful. So Addison Rae, you got a 10 out of 10 for choosing to wear this dress. I'd wear this around Kourtney Kardashian too. <laughs> have that Addison Rae has worn. However, it was also worn by Charlie D'Amelio. So if you're a big fan of theirs, I'm sure you've probably seen this before because they've actually worn it so many times. And it's this cute little cardigan. Isn't it so cute? So this is really difficult to get your hands on because it keeps selling out on Beginning Boutique because those two gals keep wearing it and it is so cute. So I had to get this in a size 10. A size 10 isn't my size, but I figured it's a little cardi. It'll just be oversized. I'm not worried. And it's so very very cute. I actually really like this. I didn't expect to like love it. I mean, just because it's not in my style, but this with like a white skirt would be so cute. Oh, I love it. And the material's really nice and thick. I mean, y'all know I've done hauls with the I've done hauls with Beginning Boutique, there we go, before, and I really like the quality of their stuff. This happens with a lot of Australian brands. Their quality is really good, so I absolutely love that, and this is just so very cute. It's also really soft, which I'm very surprised by. I didn't expect that at all. So let's go pop this cute little top on and see if we look like the pretty much most famous kid in the world right now, Charlie D'Amelio. This is what the cute little Cardi looks like on. So this is the front. And this is the back, and I love this so much. Oh, that looked weird the way I pulled that. Note. Okay, anyway, I love this so much. It is so very comfortable. And this outfit, if it wasn't a million degrees outside, is amazing. It's such like a girl next girl kind of vibe. And I can definitely see these girls wearing something like this. It's so cute. And it actually fits really well. Like, I love my jackets and stuff to be oversized. Although, usually with Cardi's, I do tend to go true to size. And then they're kind of really tight fitting. So, I actually recommend sizing up on this one because I got this as I said in a size 10 it usually I'm a size 6 and I love how big it is on me I think it's amazing and so very comfy however if you want to wear it like an actual top by itself you can definitely do that I'm pretty sure that's what Charlie did so you can then just like button it up and get it in your right size then though because you don't want it to be oversized because that's just gonna look frumpy but as a cute little cardi I love it these girls definitely know what they're on about and I can see why they both wear it and why it's always sold out it's amazing I love it I am definitely. Blah, 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 blah. I'm so excited that I can't talk properly. I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's so flipping cute. I love. <laughs> to the outfits worn by Lauren Gray. So first of all, we have this top here, which is not something I personally would usually wear. And this is the top. It is this super cute mesh material that has a dragon on the front. So these colors, as I said, definitely not something I would personally wear normally. However, Lauren Gray looked super cute in it. So I was very intrigued to try it out and it looks pretty well made. So it's completely see-through, but it was meant to be. And on their website, they did make it clear that it's see-through because you'll no, I do not like when uh, you know you're packing something and it doesn't make it obvious that it's see through it and then you get it. So it's meant to be have something worn underneath it. Again, this could even be a cute lip. Well, no, I was gonna say be good to wear over a bikini, but I don't, it's probably a bit too cropped for that. But it looks to be really well made and I really like the design. So let's just go try it on. Actually, one thing I want to mention quickly, sorry, um, is that the they've hemmed all of the top, which is really good, like all in the sleeves and all down the bottom, which means that it's not going to fray because sometimes when the items aren't made as well, like they don't sew the bottoms and then the mesh all frays, you get rips and it just doesn't look as good. So I'm really glad that they took the time to do that. So let's go pop it Here on. Here we have Lauren Gray's super edgy top on. So this is the front. And this is the back, and I actually really like this. Definitely out of my comfort zone, definitely not something I would have picked out for myself, but 
I think it looks really cute on it. So I've just paired it with some mom jeans and I love it. I can definitely see my two best friends, Keely and Angie, trying to steal this top because it's a lot more in their style than mine. But I'm girl, I love it. I also wasn't too sure with the mesh just because, I don't know, sometimes mesh rips really easily. I was unsure how it was going to go putting it on, but it's fine. It's really durable and I think it really comes down to them hemming this like at the bottom and on the sleeves. That way it doesn't rip super easily. And the design still looks cute. It hasn't like stretched out too much to the point where it looks silly once putting it on. So I love this top. I think it's so very edgy and I feel like maybe I've got the... No, I'm going to stop. I was going to try to do like a TikTok dance, but no, I'm, I'm still not Lauren Gray. I'm still Annalise Wood who cannot dance at all. But I like her top. The lucky last outfit that we have worn by famous TikTok stars today is pink and it's worn by Lauren Gray. As I said, out of any of these TikTok stars, I definitely relate to her style the most. I am really happy with this set. I think it is so very cute. So this is the top. It's this gorgeous little pink top that has angel written on it and it's very Y2K. So it's a crop top and I love it. It has this really interesting material that I haven't really seen before, but it's almost like fuzzy. It's not fuzzy, but almost is if you know what I mean. So I really like this top. I think it's super cute, but you know, first impressions, it's cute because this is what the little skirt is like as well. Just a plain pink mini skirt. So I think that these two with some cute heels and a cute little bag, maybe even a belt would be such a gorge Y2K outfit. So I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like on. And I'm honestly not surprised at all that my favorite outfit from the TikTokers is one worn by Lauren Gray because I do really like her style. So Let's go try it on and see what we think. This is what the set looks like on it. So this is the front and this is the back. And I definitely recommend <laughs> sizing up on this skirt. It is way too small on me. So I got this in a size extra small, I'm pretty sure. Which, yeah, size extra small. And I, I yeah, it's too small on me. But apart from that, I do really like this outfit. I think it's so very cute and will be a great casual outfit. Because, I mean, I say casual because I feel like a lot of people this isn't casual but for me it is during summer in australia here it's so hot and i still want to look cute but like be comfortable so i feel like something like this with some white sneakers would be amazing to wear and i love this outfit it's definitely cute and i mean look i knew i would because i love lauren gray's style the most out of all of these tiktok girls and i think that this is very very cute you could also of course with any two piece wear this crop top with a bunch of different items i think with some mum jeans would look really really cute and the skirt is then just like a basic pink mini skirt that you can wear with anything so i love this set i just definitely recommend it sizing up on the skirt so those are all of the items that i'm going to be reviewing that are worn by famous tiktokers overall i'm really happy with all of those pieces and i definitely think that these TikTok gals know how to style themselves or they have a very good personal stylist because I actually really liked all of those pieces which is very rare for me like I'm really picky I mean they're not all particularly in my personal style however I can appreciate that they are all well-made cute pieces so moving on from that I wanted to share with you guys some gorgeous pieces from beginning boutiques christmas and new year's collection firstly we have a dress that i'm definitely wearing out for drinks tomorrow night with my friends because i mean how can i not this is the dress okay that was so anticlimactic <laughs> but it is this gorgeous black mini dress that has this cute little like puffy detail on at the top here and you wear it off the shoulder so holding it up here i'm really not doing it any justice but the material is really really nice you guys it is super thick look you can't see through that at all like literally at all it is super thick and really nicely made and i love it the only thing is it doesn't have a zipper on it so we'll see how I go getting into this. But that seems to be the only thing I could see that could potentially be wrong with this. But let's just go put it on because I'm really excited for this dress. Literally been looking forward to it for so long and hoping that it fits me perfectly. So fingers crossed. This is what the outfit looks like on. So this is the front. And this is the back. And this is my favorite outfit I think I have ever owned. And I know that's a big statement, but I've spent the past 20 minutes looking at myself in the mirror like, yes, yes, just yes. It's been a difficult week, y'all. It has been a really difficult week. November was a really difficult month. So I'm just so happy to finally feel like myself again. And it took this beautiful dress to do it. I keep pulling it down. The dress itself, it's fine. It's actually these like stockings that I'm wearing underneath. The like little line is like right there. And I really, it looks tacky with that. So the dress itself is a good like I just need to get some longer stockings but 
I love it. So I paired it with stockings, obviously, just because I think black stockings with a black dress is such a vibe. And I love this so much. So I'm going out clubbing this weekend because the clubs are open in Australia. And I... Well, not clubbing, sorry. I'm going out for drinks and dinner, not on a date, just with my friends. And I'm going to wear this because I just love it so much. And it just reminded me of, like, who I am. And I feel so very glamorous in this. It also gives me a waist. And I, like, don't have a waist. Like, look, look, look. It looks like I've got, like, a teensy bit of a waist. Like, oh, I love it. Okay. I'm really fangirling here. But I just cannot convey to you how good this dress makes me feel, which is why I love clothes so much. It really just had the power to transform my mood from feeling really bad about myself, low self-esteem, to being like, yes. I am capable of ruling the world. So I'm obsessed with this. It is amazing. This next dress is super cute as well. This is also a part of their New Year's Eve collection. And I, oh, I love it. So it is this gorgeous purple style dress. It's a bit similar to what, not Kylie Jenner, sorry, Courtney. Kardashian, why can I not remember her name? Well, Kourtney Kardashian wore to Kylie Jenner's 21st birthday, but with a different spin on it. So I actually don't really own anything purple, and I thought this metallic color was gorgeous, and just being a gorgeous, simple dress that is still very extra and would definitely look cute for New Year's. So this has a zipper on the back, which is great. I won't struggle to get into it. and has the gorgeous little slinky top here, which, fun fact to any of my small-chested gals out there, this will make you look like you've got bigger a bigger chest than you actually do because when it like slinks it just makes trust and believe it makes you look like you've got a bigger chest than you do so this is all double lined which is really nice and then they have this nice black fabric on the inside of the skirt part which is super cute so let's go put this on and see how it fits all right this is what the purple dress looks like on so this is the front and this is the back and I love this dress as well. It is so very beautiful. So I absolutely love the whole like Kourtney Kardashian vibes and the purple. It's so cute. I really need to incorporate some purple into my wardrobe more. One thing I just wanted to let you guys know though is that this does run a little bit short. It's totally fine for me because I like wearing short things. But if you've got long legs and don't like wearing short things, it's just something to keep in mind. But I love this so much. It is so very cute and just so festive. I think this would be a great New Year's Eve dress because I feel like... I've just, oh, we just got to celebrate the end of the year, y'all. It's been so horrendous that I'm just so ready for New Year's that I'm already planning what I'm going to wear. And this is definitely a contender because I think it is so stinking cute. And with that, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I have new videos coming out every single week, twice a week. Thank you again to Beginning Boutique for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in any of the items from today, I will have them all linked down below as per usual. And also, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and all that fun stuff. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.